Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our Legendary Dobe campaign. We'll pick things up for episode 22 from turn 120 in the summer season of 214. So, last time we ended with our Hanzhong plus Jin province uh, area pincer attack against the Kingdom of Wei. Uh, we had back to back to back night battles to weaken uh, what used to be Dong Zhuo's faction. Now it's Wu Zhi's faction. And we are going to break through here. Uh, next turn with our three armies to attack Hanzhong over here. We have a second army to attack uh, Jiamengguan. And after those are taken, one army will filter out from Shangyong into the Central Plains to probably meet up in Nanyang. The other two forces will cut through Wudu um, into the other half of the Hanzhong from this path uh, to take on Chang'an. So we'll spread out in the west. And also, at the same time, Guan Yu is doing the simultaneous attack on the Jin province, which is still owned by Liu Bao's old faction, but we're just going to use them as a proxy for Liu, uh, Cao Cao's forces in the area, because they weren't able to take anything. We had to spoon feed them pretty much everything, so I'm not going to worry about them missing a piece here. We're going to continue our buildup, and we'll jump to that battle at the end there. To end our turn, we're going to... Multiple sources of commerce. Uh, double marketplace is definitely not the intended design, but as the game is no longer getting any support, it is a bug that we get to exploit. Uh, pretty much you can build both variants of the marketplace in places with a lot of commerce income, and that's exactly what we're doing. Any interesting spies? Not really. I think we kill them, actually. So he's actually a dead spy. That happens. Um, you know, the turn they're dead, you won't get to see them. We're trying to flip this faction as much as we can, and there's not anyone in particular that we want, but we can get rid of them and send them to the proper factions. That's kind of the goal here. No one's willing to turn, though. Very interesting. All right, so all the buildings are ready. Uh, spy's been looked at. We can jump back into this fight. It's not a particular hard fight, but they're not giving us a very good delegate value, so I think we will just take this fight. They have some good uh, sturdy units, and obviously Wojin's a great general. Even though we stripped him of all his uh, gold items, he still has a nice set of silver here. So good bonuses. There is a pair of golden dual heavy mace that I am interested in, so we'll try to pick these up. Lots of cavalry, which should fare actually very bad into our army comp, so let's go. Alrighty, they're actually in the encampment. I would love it if they charge out, but obviously with no siege weapons. And I took his item away, I gave him better capture chance for this fight, because we do want to grab both generals if possible. So no turtle formation for us. We're going to have to just rough our way into the settlement. Unless they come out. Nope. Why would they do that, right? They are willing to duel Guan Yu, which is silly on their part. So we will first take out their generals. It does not affect capture chance. Whether or not we kill them, as long as they have resiliency, it will not actually affect capture chance. We can... I mean, that formation is not going to cut it. Yeah, we're going to just have to march them up, tank the towers, and try to take these gates. Or I can have maybe one the general flank around and take the gates in the back, draw their forces out, then go inside. That might be the easier, less casualty option. I think we'll do that, actually. While well, Dad is busy dueling both of them. We'll have Guanping rush the other way. He doesn't have the roar ability, so um, it's going to be some delay there in terms of being able to open up a path for us. Let's use this. Get some chunk damage. Ah, oh, he dodged it. What's his evasion? 10%? How did he dodge that? It's okay, we're getting good hits on him. Should be over about now. 
Oh, no. Choke out. Okay. Get a nice heal. Getting shot. Need to mount again before we can ask for a duel. Four towers shooting us. Kind of painful. Out of my way. Gonna try to creep in so we don't have too much contact with Brace Spears. As long as we're not like charging into them with a the charge command, they won't knock us down. He has a pair of gold mace, but I'm counting on him having bad stats because he has no armor or no good armor. Oh man, you're slow. I guess 86 speed. Very slow, actually. Probably should have sent the daughter. Yeah, the mace is not going to help him. Let's chunk him. See, that's a hit. Look at the health. Actually, I want to see the execution. He still hasn't got shot yet, so he's not there yet. Oh, there we go. How does he die? Stab in the gut. Alright, back too close to full health. And he's getting shelled now. Come on in. No, oh, we want the horse. Let's get on our horse first. Alright, they're starting to shift towards Guanping, which is good. We can also come here, grab this victory point, which will give us some morale capture point. Which will give us some morale advantages. If we're going to get charged by cavalry, it's fine. We're going to try to kill them here. Alright, he actually captured that. Let's see if we can capture this. Going to help dad. Dad is fine. Let's see if we can... Oh, they have an oil pot. Don't, 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 don't let it. Don't let it. Alright, Dad, you're sure you're fine? I'm gonna ignore you. Stakes are here. So, you're gonna have to come in from this side. Captured. Charge right into that, flank right into that, and I flank right into that. We're losing health, but that's expected. Alright, let's see if we can use the smash damage on them. It's not a legit smash, it's just a chrome shape frontal attack. But we need to wipe them out. Here, create that gap. Get them inside. Time for you guys to advance too. That's half of our health. Alright, but we're starting to take the flag. We're losing pressure here, and this door is busted open. We have captured both towers, formed the line with our infantry. Try to absorb their attention, and then we'll charge their vulnerable units from behind. Create a line here. Let's go help Dad out. 
Especially with all the cavalry coming at him, he's going to take quite a bit of damage. Go apply the terror that he has on the enemy infantry. Two of them charge over. She's on foot, isn't she? Get inside. Come on, hurry up, break that unit. Smash. Alright, both of them clear that one. Other four. Two of you. Get set, other two come over here. Pull them back a little. Don't want them to come back. Another ability here. Punch that in. Look at their health. Push. Chase. Fight. Help. Actually, no. I can help here, too. Looks like they're all gonna route. Alright. Battle's won. Definitely not pure casualty, you know? We got decisive here. If anything, that helps with capture chance too. Should add 17% to the capture rate. We got both, and we will employ both. Daughter leveled up. We'll try to get her version of the successor of the war god as well. Which is the same as her brothers. Thousand pound armor. Ah, Lord Jun, you're back with us, but um... I think we'll we'll keep you this time just because there's no reason not to he's historically dead he shouldn't be with any faction so at this point i feel like we can just keep him he can be a good administrator kind of what we need changsha bottom will fit him much better oh bottom has someone sorry changsha is empty yunnan's okay some peasantry some industry perfect for a champion like him He's on cooldown, isn't he? Right. So we'll wait for that. We looked at all the buildings already, except for this one. We'll be picking on Xiangyang next. Ready had our fight against Yu Jin, so no need to see that again. I think we're good. I think all the armies have moved. Anything we can do in diplomacy? We gotta make sure to give Guan Yu the corruption reduction item back because our, our income's taking a beating because he's trying to get capture right there. But definitely worth it. Picked up two great general. Now, one Guo, I don't think we need to keep. So, we will fire one. Save a bit of money. He has 20% extra evasion there. 
Goodbye. And let's end turn. All right. We know he died. So Han Sui's daughter actually took over. Lady Wu has finally peeked over here. We have Lu Bo's army giving chase to here and then assisting over here after we lose it. We can march now. We're full health. He should be slowed down by 30%, yet yeah, he's still moving super fast. They have given up on defending the city, but we are actually not good at sieging, so I actually take out the army first. They're on march anyways. This will be a simple delegate fight. Ooh, a burn officer. We'll give him a chance to get captured. You, on the other hand, I think we'll just chop your head off. It's almost the same portrait as Lady Mi. Ah! So it ends over here. We'll be picking that siege up next turn. She'll just waste us a turn. Should be just a default fight here. We were in ambush. They did not fall for it. That is a problem. Do I just wipe them out and just wait for Meng Huo to be spawned into Mulu's faction and keep farming him over here? Because if he doesn't show up, I can't get the event for the seven capture and just be burning my time here with these three generals. So I feel like we just get rid of the rebels. That's not really the main show here. Now, they are given a very high delegate value here. Why? Who's fighting us? Ah, Dai Lai is here. That is why. So we want a good capture chance here. Time to shift a couple of the items around. We'll steal Guan Yu's item. Um, I think Zhuge Liang should lead the fight, perhaps? He does have... Zhang Fei doesn't have patience. So I do think Zhuge Liang should lead the fight. And then we'll actually give up this to pick up the ladle just to capture Dai Lai. It'll be worth it. Dai Lai is quite valuable. And we might even borrow the horse. Oh, he has it. He has the 15% capture. Our income has dipped really, really hard. Not that one. There we go. Hmm, they're counterattacking us. Interesting. I don't think I can reach them. Yeah, so we're going to have to wait here. Quite a strong army, actually. Cao Cao's forces have picked up Shang Yong, so we'll meet here, actually. Which is actually pretty historical. Cao Cao to the rescue in the Han Zhong battle. Part 2 of Han Zhong, where, you know, we kill Xia Hou Yuan. Alright, we're one step away from there. We'll have the farthest army come up. They're gonna run, I believe. We catch them. Ah, not the gold one, so we'll release you. We'll employ him for the silver weapon and then dump him. We'll just release you. We have more firepower. And even more right here. Right, so we have a big siege in Hanzhong going on. They have an army on the run back. 
very weak, but the general bounced back. So for us to defend this, we might have to summon a couple of generals to just even things out. Let's do mother-in-law plus daughter-in-law. Sun's currently missing, but I think I want the son to be working with Guanxing and Zhang Bao in the future. So who do we give them? Ah, mother, but she's currently on assignment. Let's add Guan Yu's wife to the army here for now. They're just here to stabilize as generals. We're not actually counting on them on doing anything, so we'll get rid of most units. The garrison is pretty big. We should be fine. She has a gold weapon. We can pick up a Wu Huan horse. Mm, I think this is fine. There's plenty of damage. Right, so that's nothing we need to worry about. Slight concern in the attack in Huarong, but losing it is not going to be the end of the world. We'll focus on our main attack. Not going to defend it. Lady Wu is going to take this. We have an army on the way. That's the capture battle we want to fight this turn. And we also have this battle over here. So let's just take a peek at the spy and then we'll do those. Nope. Can't turn anyone. Yeah, it's a bit unfortunate. Alright, let's start with this battle here first. Monghua's faction is going to get wiped. They're going to go join Mulu and then we'll fight Mulu. We can't see the percentage because, you know, supposedly we lose, but we have given him everything we can to improve the odds. So let's go. All right, once again, Silk Mine, oh, Silk Trader. Pretty easy map to fight, especially since we do have fire capabilities. I am fairly certain they're gonna charge out. We have Suppression. We have a very strong front line. Very weak cavalry support but still some cavalry support against that man's better than nothing. Good against generals, you know, probably they're going to be my tool against Dai Lai. Not any cavalry on their side. We could do a little fire. That's really about it. Not coming out, really? I'm sure a few shots will change your tune. I'm sure a few missed shots will hit either the tower or the wall and they will just spread. Half of this will be burned down very soon. It's also night battle, I believe, so uh, the morale is very fragile on their side. Yep, got the misses on the towers. So now both towers are burning. Do you, is, did Dalai got smacked by a rock? Lost a chunk of his health? Wait for whoever is going to reinforce the front gate. And then just another volley. Another two units gone. They got to send more stuff. They actually have a cavalry. All right, because Lady Juro had a few cataphracts in her armies. There's a few tigers over there as well. Let's get a couple shot there. Fire didn't spread as much as I wanted, but it's fine. We could burn the whole settlement, actually, for morale damage. Be quite easy to do, actually. So 
So we have nine morale hit on them. Let's burn the other half of the town there too. See, we lit that, we lit that. That should spread. We love the morale hit. Look at the unit start shaking. All right, last fire, just empty it. I don't know, if it should spread. So the percentage go up. I think the highest is 20 points of morale. Now we'll just use division two. We don't have range advantage, given that they do have fire archers, so they actually will have longer range. But uh, we should be fine. 97, yeah, 20 points of morale is the maximum. If it's spread over there, it should burn that out, and it should be 100%. Assuming it spreads. Oh, they got lucky. That didn't spread. Stop to 46%. Ow. Don't like that. They'll go tank it first. We'll get rid of that so we actually have range block chance. We're literally just going to tank it for our frontline units. They have a lot of ammo because Dylai is a burn officer. Now they're not shooting at us. Alright, good job boys. Start shooting them. Army law should kick in, general should die. Reload. Fire. Take a shower. Not that much casualty there. Move up. Those horses should just... Oh, they released the tigers. But it's okay. We are actually pretty good against them. When can we hit these? I think they would just melt cataphracts. Yep. These are unbreakable. I just recognize that. Tiger slingers. So tigers doing a decent bit of damage. Ah, uh, they walked up. That's their mistake. Now they're, that's the only un unbreakable unit in their army. So once he goes down, it should be over. Everyone should rout. No? Come on, shoot. Ah, just out of range. End them. Alright, wasn't easy, but uh, should be decisive. Close. Oh, it's not good. Let's see if we still get the capture. Not the right person, but Jin Huan Sanjie is sort of unique too, so we'll just release him. We won't be keeping them alive, we want them to all shift into Mulu's faction. Let's give them evasion. They will continue to travel this way, join the battle against the Kingdom of Wu. They will finish up Mulu and stay with them in the region.
This is good enough to take care of them. Time to fight this battle. Not gonna night battle this. Cavalry defending a city is never good, so we should have an easy time here. Alrighty, nice and clear day. And we're going to start by picking out a side. And given our reinforcements are all over here, I think this is probably the best corner. Some of them will still have to move quite far, but I think our main units here can do just fine. We'll take out the towers, crush the walls, sending the Juggernauts as phase two here. And then, actually this is probably phase two. These archers are phase three, and then if we need any more help, we'll use the reinforcements. If not, it'll just be over after that. So let's get started. First pop this. Oh, not enough. I thought it would catch on fire right after that, but there we go. That should be over 50%. We missed. Second shot, we hit. Let's switch to regular. Pop open the walls. On to the next. And then we have 16 shots left, or 15, maybe 14 shots, 13 shots. Keep dropping. All right, they're not going to come out. That that's that's a false move. Crush the gate. What are guys doing? Wait, 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 wait. They're proving me wrong. Archer, stand by. Stand by. We can fire while moving. We're E archers. Misanticipated them. Trying to flank my. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, they routed. Good. That was dangerous. Phew. Okay, you guys can calm down. Move them up. Their job is to tank every single enemy archer that's in the radius which is one unit, maybe even zero unit. They're all over there looking at our reinforcements, which is fine. That's the case, we'll send these boys up. They don't have to... fire right off the bat actually most of them are pretty good against go faster I mean ammo nice shots so we'll let them fi finish their nice shots first or I can just punish them like this Make them run away. Ooh, that poor guy. Hmm, here comes the first volley. They're the one getting shot, which is good. That's exactly the group that should get shot. Alright, then we'll save some ammo. Let them just finish off their shots. Ooh, they're now shooting the E archer. That's not what we want. Lose formation. Yeah. 
等可是贪生怕死之辈，你的前途唯有死路一条。Is oh, what is with this placement? He couldn't fit through the turtle formation. All right, we'll take care of the front gate area. Charge at me, that's cute. Yeah, even if they make it here, the turtles got them. Push them up. Start firing as people run away. This is now the kill zone. Doesn't matter if you smoke screen, he sent rocks where you're smoke screening. That general's almost dead from all the arrows. Mothan's getting toasted. They're running on their own wooden stakes as well. We'll punch the reinforcement with a couple of rocks. So eager to show up. Into the tunnel. Fire. Wow, full set of gold items. I really want this Tiang Grand Warriors. Resolute Coffin, that's for Pang De. Brought a coffin with him to say that he'll never surrender. Thus, he gets killed by Guan Yu. We got a melee cav trying to be a hero here. No issues with barbecue horses. Oh, they got some flank units out. When did that happen? Maybe one unit routed, pretended to route, and then came back out. I mean, the fact that Maton's still alive is pretty amazing. Alright, most of their ammo have dried up. 
used to kill most of the generals. I don't even think we need the reinforcements to do anything. I think we just need to have these generals go in, do a little bit of cleanup, and it's over. He's about to rout. Friendly fire! Oh, there we go. Enough firepower does the job. Now I just really want Maton to hand over all those items. What did I say? This has to be execute. He dies of execution anyways, just in the hand of Tal Tal, not us, but we pick up every single gold item. The armor we can't peel off of him. Free horse, we'll take it. She had a really good retinue, I know, but with the item, we can recruit that ourselves. And we don't have to like transfer it. We also picked up one additional item. Stone horse. But this is the one we really wanted. Now we can recruit town units in all our armies. So we don't have to live with those bad, you know, melee militia uh, lancer shock cavalry lancer militia cavalry from the ashes now we get the heal ability on pon uh, ponton uh, we don't need a school here food is probably also not needed it's gonna be a i don't know if it's gonna be an income commandery probably not we'll put it in here we'll keep this for now since we are kind of low on food all right, Liu Bei's forces will come out here. They're obviously going to pick up a completely different setup now. We'll do, we'll do two of each. Even though the town hunters straight up the best, but a little bit of variety makes things a little bit more interesting. Um. Yeah, yeah, actually we'll do we'll do or maybe we'll just let him have uh, let's do two of each. I can't share the item on the same turn, so I'm gonna have to swap them out as we go. Pick up some range. I'm not bringing a coffin with myself. That is just bad luck. Charge speed, military drum morale. We'll take that. Stats good too. All right, and then we'll just cycle it across. Let them pick up the units as we continue. We're going to head this way. Nobody should also look to grab some better units than this, but um, it's going to have to be like a variant of a spear guard just because we want to nurse the juggernaut here. Imperial crossbowmen probably for the rest when we get a chance. Okay, these battles are done. No changes here. We fixed up the city. I think it's good for next turn now. We could get hit here for a little bit, but nothing too major. Oh, we could upgrade a few things. Hold on. That's not getting upgraded, but that should be. I want to go tall, but we really don't have the food. Well, because certain places are a little bit too tall, maybe we will bring that down a bit. Who cares about the overpopulation that we will lose? But there are places that needs at least a city build. Hmm, Yuna doesn't have a build available. That's fine. State Workshop is a must. Okay, we're good. Let us continue here. And Lady Wu is leading the attack. She is the heir. If we kill her, then Sun Tzu might have a chance. And we'll also get the mercenary item. We should try to work on capturing her. Let's delegate this, let them win. 
Ooh, Spain finally got recruited. Wavering loyalty. You you can't waver, just go. It's own. Well why came back again. We can keep trying. He took he took a Sway yet, so who knows? He might still take you. Alright, nothing else has changed. We got a few new kids. I think that's the only one. I also want to fire him after taking his weapon. Goodbye. All right, let's continue. Diamond Guan should just be an easy delegate. Place where Zhang Fei Ma Chao had their long duel. Where did they come from? Well, they wiped out the last territory of the High Empire, but the High Empire still has an army running around over here. So that's awkward. I don't know if they will try to get aggressive and try to take a piece of land, because we're currently at war with them. That's no threat. That is now a threat, but Guan Yu will take Xiangyang. This is our Han Zhong and Jin Zhong moment. We're going to have to build something here. Nothing we can do about that. And then we can delegate afterward. We can prepare to declare war on them, actually. So Liu Bei's forces will stay in the region and prepare to face off against Xia Houdun's forces with their trusty backup of burnt officers. We're going to clean up this mess. But first, we're going to share some items. You get it now. I can... We'll also do two of each. Like I said, just to get a bit of diversity here. And then for him, we'll give him all hunters. Just because he's a strategist, it makes a lot more sense. Then we'll come over here, smack them. Can't reach, that's fine. Get rid of the item for you. We don't need any formations here anymore. Not for this army, at least. And we'll take one of that. And we should probably give you a better item here as well. I don't want to give you that one, but maybe Huo Chu Bing's bow. But isn't Huo Chu Bing's bow part of a set? Yeah, we don't have the full set yet. Rugo Down's fan should be returned to him. Hmm. Doesn't really go with what he has. Maybe just the silver item then. Red new speed is always great for cavalry. No one showed up. Okay, that's fine. We are going to move towards Hepu. We might just wipe out Shixie along the way, even though they're a trade partner and they quite like us. At least, oh, not anymore, but we do have shared enemies, so can't imagine them being a threat. I guess I could join them here. Move this way. I still want to give Zhang Fei cataphract, uh, cataphracts when we do get the chance to get the reform. So we'll do that. Still trying to give chase. 
I don't understand how we can't outrun them, but that seems to be the facts. Guan Yu will get that fight done next turn. We deploy them. They're moving up. After they clean them up, they can grab Hundrum over here and start harassing around. The thing is, they're good against non-cities. They can play team up with them. They can grab the centers. They can grab the counties and so forth. All right, we'll set up the siege. We also need to build siege weapons. We could sap, actually. We can take some time and just sap it out. But then I can probably just delegate next turn as well. So maybe just this. I don't really want to capture him, so a delegate would be just fine. Oh, item, items, right. There is a few things we need to fix. Bring back the fan. There are some nice faction-wide bonus that we need, 10% corruption. And... We'll get this back as well. Income goes back much higher. This is our kind of fully developed city, at least in terms of what we have in terms of reform. Most cities are pretty close to max build. Which is why we are desperately short on food. I'll level this up first. Shaft mining is going to be a while. Not a key priority. We'll just shift it once we do get it. Here. With so much money, we're just going to finish this build. Get the corruption down. Get the silk going. Alright, all of these are done. All the armies have moved except for them. But this is a temporary force. I think I'm just going to have them stand here. I don't know where that force went. I don't think it was this force. So it's a different force that kind of disappeared on us. I don't know what the High Empire is going to do. I'm pretty sure they're going to take none. Uh, and then they're probably going to come siege Jiangxia. They need a turn. And one of them is our spy. Speaking of spies, there's no new turncoats. But she could continue to help us out a little. Hwasin. Okay, Hwasin it is. We'll try to trash talk. And no one's willing to turn. That's the thing. Alright, we can't do very much. That was a quick turn. Anything in diplomacy that we can exploit. Peace deal with Ma Tung's faction too early. And there's really no point to really peace out with them unless they're willing to add a unification to the peace. Which is something we could explore. 16 point is quite a bit. Okay, we can peace and then get the unification. Because we have 60.2 relative strength. So this would work. That way we don't have to actually fight all of this. And we just take it. Uh, sort of like the first northern expedition. Where the three commanderies in the west just surrendered when we came out. Because we are the continuation of the Han. I would not want anything, right? I would just want... Actually, I want their items, or else it's going to go to waste. Give me, give me one first. Oh, this value is weird. Let's do this. Five points would give us some positive. Obviously not over with them. We're going to continue to work with them. We will offer them cash. I assume they're going to be pretty poor. Oh, but pretty demanding. Okay, remember that amount. First exchange, we'll take an item. That's okay. It's just going to shift the value a little bit. Give them 1,600. The bronze one, I'll still take. I mean, it's a waste if we don't take it. 120. Turning towards 72. I wonder how much cash they have. Whether it's worth we can grab some more cash. We don't really need cash though, so... It's another thing. 
Let's just check. Oh, they do have quite a bit of cash. Can I get like 5,000 at a time? No, that's too many deals. Not worth our time. Just going to win them over. We still need a higher to start giving her coins to shift the values. Two twenty something. Let's just do one more. That's good enough. Now we start dropping the coins. Make it 22. Fifty-three. One fifty-one. Perfect. And unify. Negative seven point seven. Relative strength changed. Ah. Uh, we're going to have to issue the ultimatum then, because I'm not paying those. Oh, well, it cancels the deals anyways, so we're back to square one. Except for we picked up a lot of treachery. <laughs> okay, the West don't want to surrender to us yet. We have to uh, resume our war with them. That did not go as smoothly. The values changed after the peace deal was signed, which is quite sad. Probably should have beaten them down a bit more. Wait, how do we get this weapon? I mean, everyone has a gold weapon. It's not like we're not equipping them. Like, who doesn't have a gold weapon? Like, if someone has a face, oh, well, my diet. Fine, fine, fine. Let's see, Mada, what do you want? What do you want? I have sets. I have sets. You can get sets, actually. See, Tiger Wing's not cool, right? Because you don't actually... It, it, it's what you have as art, but no set bonus. So let's find you something with a good set. Terra's not good. Or not good enough. Clever Warrior, Xu Huang. Uh, we don't have that. Desolate Smog gives your own retinue stock. Oh, too bad we can't get Snipe, or else that doesn't... Oh, actually, what's the set? We don't have the set. Natural Courage, we don't have the set. We don't have the set. This is the one we just got. We actually have this set. Gives him Unbreakable, gives his own army discipline, satisfaction for him. Damage wise, a too high a bit on the base. Not much stats there, so not super strong. Campaign movement when leading, but this is the Xiang Yu set, we don't have that one. We do have this one, give scare, damage is okay. Tirin, Kirin, Dragon's Roar. See, that's that's a good damage one, but we don't have a set there. We have this one, Unbreakable, Big Axe, good damage. Here you go. Fierce Courage. The set is called what? Armor of Fierce Courage. Okay. Is someone wearing it, or is it just not available to your class? Here. No one's wearing it. It's for champions only. Alright, back to picking a new weapon. So sorry. Fishbone Spear. Damage is okay. I don't like the loss evasion. Somehow, yeah, Armor of the Fierce again. That armor is part of two sets. That's awkward. You can only complete one. Okay, so that's not going to work. We're going to have to start with the armor, because the armors are more exclusive. So things like, if I can wear the armor, then the Dark Blade 
gives me scare, retinue gets scare, lose speed kind of suck. 80 armor is good. Coffer ceremonial, no, 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 no. Dark crow, we don't have crow's beak, stock is not that good. Okay, then we give you a non-set weapon that has good damage. Like rebel spear. There we go, you have a gold weapon now. I don't have that many gold sword that fits strategists. Yeah, so this is fine. Get a set bonus on the armor. I don't have an Imperial bow, believe it or not. At least I didn't have it before. Now I do. Now he gets the set. So that completes both set Celestial Fury, firing rate. And we should have plenty of item for cunning. There we go. We don't have a plane. Yes, we do. Stop lying. Give Sun Tian what he wants. All right, so that's fine. They didn't get the surrender. That's fine. We'll just keep fighting. We are treacherous. We're treacherous anyways. It's not going to affect too much. Some diplomacy, some factions will care. But um, at this point, it's really about force, right? How strong we are. So it's not really going to matter. Let's continue. Perfect timing. Just when we lined up right in front of him. Wartime. The Three Kingdoms finally all at war. And we do have the attack on Huarong. Take it. Guan Yu is getting backstabbed, quote unquote, sort of. We can roleplay that part. Picked up a pair of gold swords. Yeah, TUB has tons of weapons. Weaponsmith is just pumping out gold items nonstop. I think they skew the percentage as well. I think tier 3 is just continuous gold item pr production here. Um, we'll end the episode here. It's getting interesting. Uh, we are starting our Three Kingdom Warfare. We're at war with pretty much everyone. I thought I could get the Surrender from the North. It had the 60 value. Fooled us, but uh, it's fine. We'll have the armies go fight them instead. Should be pretty straightforward. Our armies will face off against Ao Yuan. They declare war on us just in time. I can't reach them, actually. That's the sad part. Because this army has no reach. Yeah, this army has no reach. Unless we pick it up here. But I was busy getting uh, from the ashes, so. We will go hunt them down. We'll, we'll probably take baby steps. Maybe trap them, bait them with this army. With the ambush. We'll head over to Wudu. We'll clean them up and then head north. I don't see that army anymore, so I think we can recall that group. The south, they'll wipe them out and we'll just trap Mulu over here. We'll probably just trap them in the last county over here, the forest one. And then we'll just let them keep spawning generals to fight us. Uh, that that would be the plan to try to farm the Naman leaders like Wu Tu Gu, Zhu Rong, Dai Lai, Meng Huo, etc. Um, as we keep this army here, Zhuge Liang and Zhang Fei's force will come down, start attacking them. Just like Liu Bu's force will go probably the northern route, they'll go the central route, and uh, we'll take the Dell province from Sun Tzu. Um, won't attack their interior just yet. Over here, we're assuming they are part of. This group, Guan Yu is launching his siege at Fan Castle, gets backstabbed, and uh, getting backstabbed everywhere. So, pretty realistic. Now he's going to have to fight his way out, hopefully before getting killed, and hopefully we can meet him, because Zhang Fei was actually in Shangyong um, around this time. It was a joint of effort, right? It was supposed to come out, and if Zhuge Liang could convince the North to surrender in the first Northern Expedition, Liu Bei definitely could. So it would have been a wonderful moment for them to basically win over the Liang province, uh, come out of the Yi province, grab the northern part of Jin, and just press onto uh, Silu here from Liu Bei and into the capital here from Guan Yu. And uh, the Kingdom of Wei might have cracked, or at least have retreated to the north. And if that was the case, Liu Bei could claim the court, uh, get the capital, name himself the emperor, or maybe just re-establish in Chang'an. It would probably be safer for him. Um, and call on the country to support him, and he would have a much stronger stake. That also depends on what Sun Quan does, right? We're assuming Sun Quan doesn't backstab here, but we're currently at war. Or, or if the backstab fails, right? If it fails and Liu Bei 
was able to kind of position himself as a continuation of Han in Chang'an, setting that as the capital. And Cao Cao had to retreat his forces north of Yellow River. Then the picture would be very different. Sun Quan might consider that you know he's in laws with Liu Bei, or at least was in law with Liu Bei. He could surrender, be a duke, not really have to fight it out, support him, and then Cao Cao would be just on the back foot at that point, and it would be game over. So that's hope. That's what we're hoping to achieve. And Guan Yu had to tough it out with his army, uh, reclaim the Jin province, seize control, let Zhang Fei's forces. Uh, come out to help, but Zhang Fei is actually in our story busy down here. We could flip them. I could send Zhang Fei up there, I guess. Uh, keep Zhao Yun with Zhuge down, and that's fine. I mean, in our world, Pang Tong doesn't die. Fa Zheng is still not in the game. That's someone who I want to use and play around with, but I don't see him in the game yet. Maybe he's... I mean, he would be with the Han faction, right? So it's it's pretty vital we wipe out the Han Empire. That frees up a lot of characters. Yeah, we pass by F. We don't see it. Yeah, we don't. So they're hoarding a lot of characters. We need to wipe them out. Maybe we can delegate a win. Let's take a look. Close. I can't summon anyone. Maybe we can um, do a little bit of the movement trick from here. Send an army, recall, send a, like three generals to help out. Wipe them out. That way we get rid of the Han Empire and start seeing if we get a flood of characters. That could be something we'll do. And then pretty much we're just eliminating Han factions to make sure we can pick up all the characters. Or at least one of the three kingdoms can pick up all the characters. Which means we had to push out all of this. Still a lot of work to do. But see you guys next time. Bye.